What's up YouTube? My name is Diego Digoin, and today we have some practical penmanship for you guys. So stay tuned. So one of the first things we need to talk about before we get into any handwriting is posture. Posture is really important when it comes to practical penmanship. We're gonna start with an erect spine and our feet flat on the floor. You may want to angle your body a little bit if you find this comfortable. You're gonna stagger your feet so that your right foot is forward and your left foot is slightly behind. This allows for weight to be more equally distributed between the right elbow and the left foot. Our right elbow is a point of leverage and is the only point of contact made with the table. This is how we write with the whole arm. Let's talk a little bit about grip and arm placement. Notice the way that I'm holding the pencil. My index finger is bowed upward rather than buckled inward. If you buckle your index finger inward, you want to correct this. Other than the elbow, the ring finger and the pinky can also glide across your paper for support. Some people like to do this, some people don't. It's preference. No other point of your arm should be touching the paper when you write with the whole arm. Your elbow is the main point of contact, the point of leverage, and the elasticity of your skin is what determines your range of motion. Notice the way the skin tugs against the table. Now finding the correct placement for your arm can be a little tricky. By lifting the arm up and letting it drop naturally, you allow for the shoulder to relax. And what you want to find is a comfortable position for your arm to rest. Notice the left hand. The left hand plays assistant to the right hand. So when we start our drills, the right hand stays stationary and the left hand slightly glides the paper across. This is an example of the first drill that you're going to have to practice in order to develop whole arm writing. We call this the compact oval drill. Notice that there is no movement taking place in the fingers. All of the movement comes from the upper arm. This circular motion can come quite naturally, but it may take some time for it to become muscle memory. So you do have to practice these drills quite often. Notice the way that the left hand pulls the paper across your field of view. The right hand stays stationary when you're writing with the whole arm. Once you find that comfortable position, you want to keep it. This next drill is the push-pull. This push-pull motion is used in letters such as the letter L or T. The compact oval and the push-pull drill translate quite seamlessly into your handwriting. Now I tend to pronate my hand quite a bit and that blocked my field of view in this last drill. So now I'm going to slightly rotate my hand to the right still not allowing for the palm to rest down, just getting a better view of what I am actually writing. And you can see that I stay within the lines to a greater degree in this next drill. Again, notice where the motion is coming from. No finger movement is involved when you're using whole arm writing. You're going to have to practice these drills quite a bit. Here's another variation. You could do 10 rotations of a compact oval combined with 10 push pulls right down the center of that compact oval. There is a slight slant to the compact oval, so be aware of this. The push pull drill should be done with the slant coming directly towards the center of your chest. The center of your chest in a way is a marker. Remember, the right hand stays stationary and the left hand moves the page across your writing. Now 
Let's see now how some of these drills can translate into actual letters. That's the letter L. The letter T or I motion could even be the U. And here we have the A rotation. Now let's look at these drills from a different angle. Notice again where the movement's coming from. And notice the way I wind the arm up before I even start putting the pencil down to the paper. It may take some time for this to feel natural, but it's important to go through the initial stages of correct posture, finding the arm placement that is comfortable for you, and correcting the grip on the pencil. It's also easier to begin with a pencil because the graphite will glide a little more seamlessly across the page. A lot of people tend to write with too much pressure and whole arm writing requires very little pressure. We want our utensil to glide across the page. We don't need to put a lot of forceful pressure. Let's look at some writing from this angle. Notice where the movement is coming from and notice the lack of finger movement. There is some finite movement in the wrists. When we practice whole arm drills, these larger muscles will do a majority of the movement when writing and we allow for the wrist to take care of very finite movements. And you can use the finger movements when you cross your T or dot your I. And now we're going to take a look at some of these drills done with a pen. And we're just going to go ahead and listen to the satisfying sound of these drills. Now let's again watch how these drills will be translated into practical handwriting. Notice that there's no movement coming from the fingers. The movement is coming from the whole arm. Very finite movement may come from the wrist, but a majority of the movement comes from the whole arm. It did take me a few months of practice to fully transition into whole arm writing. Most people write very differently than this, but if you're into handwriting and would like to write for long periods of time without experiencing much fatigue, and would also like to create consistency in your writing, this is the most ideal way to do so. Once these movements become muscle memory, you can write rather quickly, keeping your letter formations consistent.
And that's all for now. I'd like to close with this little quote. To write is to move through letters. Thanks for watching. So friends, I hope you have found this video helpful in your journey to practical penmanship that's also beautiful and easy and consistent in all of its forms. And if you have any questions, please ask them down in the comment section below because I want to start a discussion. Each one of these movements and subjects can be delved into deeper and people have different ways of performing these tasks as well. So I would like to learn more through whatever you guys have to offer. So if you are interested in some free content, you can find multiple things down at my website. I'm an artist and I also teach this program called Creative Brain Training. I've recently pub published a book on this program and you can actually get the first three chapters for free right now. And so if you're interested in anything like that, it will help you improve your penmanship more quickly if you are interested. Uh, it has to do with ambidexterity and how we can become ambidextrous and what that does for us. What sort of benefits can we reap through that practice neurologically? And what can it do for the chemistry of our bodies and improving that? Make sure to check out my website because that's where you can find out all of the information regarded to that. And I would recommend subscribing also to this channel because you will get to continue to see content that I provide. Right? That's what we want. That's all I have for you. Take care.